the 18-member team of Chinese air sports will be arriving soon with globally scarce supplies in a fight against the novel coronavirus. This is coming days after the Nigeria Medical Association, NMA, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, rejected the invitation by the federal government of a Chinese medical team to help Nigeria in the coronavirus response. Dr. Sage Hanire, Minister of Health, disclosed this on Monday in Abuja at a presidential task force briefing on COVID-19 in the country. On Friday, April 3, they are expected to arrive Nigeria in a few days with a consignment of globally scarce medical supplies to augment government efforts and build capacity to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. Joining us in the studio is Fidel Abbott, a legal practitioner, to talk a bit more about this development. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What do you make of the seeming lack of communication between the NMA and the Minister of Health? Okay, I think it should be quickly resolved. Um, I think that the government should follow the due process in inviting foreign medical experts to um, participate in the fight of this global pandemic. Um, there is all sort of um, um, conspiracy theory about Chinese, China and Chinese medical experts. <laughs> I uh, heard um, people insinuated that the, uh, the visit of Chinese experts, uh, medical experts to Italy was directly related to the increase in the cases of uh, coronavirus. Yeah, the NMA in, chairman actually alluded in, uh, to that in, in, in his statement in, in as well. I mean, this is not just um, endemic to Italy. It's, it's people are suspicious, people are so. It is important, not just NMA, but the people, um, the Nigerian people, Government need to do a bit more to allay the fear. The other part of it is that there is a legal, there's a, a legal framework for uh, for people to practice medicine in Nigeria. There is, in fact, it's actually illegal. It's actually illegal with a with a criminal penalty if you were to practice in Nigeria without your name being on the register. Now. And like I said earlier, um, there is the restrictive practice, license to practice, for people who are practicing um, only temporarily. If the, uh, uh, the government intends to bring people on a temporary basis, they need to work with the medical council to, um, to, to, to see that they are properly assessed by the council to, to, to undertake medical practice in Nigeria. It is important. I think that the complaint of the NMA is valid. Um, it's, it's extremely very valid. But, but, but if, you, if you look at the fact that this is an emergency, yeah. would you align with the position of the NMA that um, there is misplaced priority by the federal government in taking uh, this move? When you also consider the fact that China, yes, the virus might have come from a town there, they've found a way to contain the spread of the virus. Wouldn't we benefit from that at this time? Well, what they did to, um, to contain the spread of the virus is not rocket science. It's not only China that has contained the spread of the virus. South Korea has done the same thing. Um, even Italy, they are fighting you know, to do the same thing and in some other countries. It's not rocket science. Social distancing, testing, and, um, and, and, and personal hygiene and, and all those sort of things. Um, Self-isolation and quarantine. These are things that are being done, and, 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 and once you do it, you see the results, right? Now, in Nigeria, um, from the first case that, from when the first case was, was, was seen, you know, um, it's the Nigerian, in fact, today I just saw on the news, if two of the, uh, in Edo State, and even in, I think, Luth, uh, some of the medical doctors who are, um, uh, fighting these things are on the front line, are uh, even being, co uh, even contacting, contacting the, the disease yes. and you know going to self isolation. So it is these people who have assisted, who have worked hard to see that the disease have been contained in Nigeria and we don't have that wildfire spread. So why? Why cheapen their, their efforts when well, they're actually doing do, it? Do, do you think that the complaint by the TUC, the NMA, NADA, and the rest will really change the government's mind? Because 
they are saying that these Chinese uh, people are going to arrive in a matter of days. And then you have the NMA giving this subtle threat that um, they might be forced to review their participation um, in the fight against COVID-19. How worried are you about No, this? I'm extremely worried about that because if doctors down tools in Nigeria, so there is nothing 18 medical doctors or medical, medical experts, so to speak, from China are going to do, do for, um, for Nigeria. If the 40,000 doctors down tools in Nigeria, then we now have a real problem on our hands. So um, it's, a, it's a really a matter of grave concern. Now, so this is going to be the barometer to measure government's concern for its citizenry. If they go ahead with this, um, with this um, their plan of action without addressing the issues that have been that have been put forward by the NMA, then it, it then shows to us that I mean they really don't care because there's really nothing that 18 doctors are going to do for us uh, as against 40,000 doctors. How, what, how do you see this whole thing being resolved? Because we are in an emergency and we cannot afford to I, have I do the not, I, NMA yes, down to. But for I do any not reason. think that the word emergency is um, is um, a catch-all phrase. Um, yes, emergency, we are in an emergency, but even the Constitution had, had, had taken emergency into contemplation. And it said in 305, if there, if there is an emergency such as this, that the president should, should make a pro proclamation and gazette it. Now, and it, it can either be ratified by the uh, by, by the National Assembly within two days if they are not if they, if they are sitting or within ten days if they are, if they are not sitting. So even the Constitution had stated that even when there is an emergency, you still have to follow due process of of lawmaking. You still have to follow due process. There is no emergency that should make us dispense the rule of law, uh, and and it is important because. It can still be done, and the president did it. The president came up with the laws. It didn't take. I mean, it was only after people shouted, shouted, shouted that they came up with the legal framework for how these things will be done. We'll see what happens in the next few days. Thank yes. you very much Thank for you. joining us on the news. Very grateful. Thank you.